Good morning, kindergarten friends. This is Coach McLean. Today, I am coming to you through a voiceover because when I recorded this video, the sound didn't come through. I'm still working on my technology skills. Today, we are gonna be working on short handled Im implements. I'm gonna be using this little lollipop paddle with a few different kinds of balls. I've got a wiffle ball and a uh, heavier foam ball in my hand there. If you want to go grab something that would represent a short handled implement and maybe some socks or if you have a ball that you can use that would be great for this class. The first thing I want to do is warm us up though. So I'm going to take you through our warm up. You're going to start a little ways away and give me six skips towards my camera. Okay? So I remember our skip is a step and a hop. Step hop, step hop, step hop, step hop, step hop. Cool. Six of them. And then on the way back, I am going to ask you to slide with your feet never crossing each other, six slides out, and then I'm gonna turn and face the other direction, skip in again, six skips, face the other direction, and slide out six slides facing the other way. Notice my feet never cross, just nice and easy. The next thing I'm going to have you do is going to be reach towards your toe. You're going to kick your leg. My opposite hand touches my toe. Opposite hand touches my toe. Across my body each time. I think I did maybe eight of these to get close. Once we finish there, on our way back, we are going to, let's see what I do. Um, I think they're going to be bottom kicks. Those are our glutes that I'm pointing to right there. I call them glute kicks because they're, that's our gluteus maximus and minimus, also known as our bottom. So what I wanna do is when I run, I'm gonna try to get my heel to touch my bottom. This is gonna uh, get my quadriceps, which is the front of my leg stretched out. So I'm gonna go on my way back and kick my bottom. Boom, 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 boom. Hopefully you're following along doing the same thing. The next one I'm gonna do is bring my knees up really high to my chest as I come towards you all. Just kidding. I'm gonna do a walk out. And then I walk my feet in towards my hands. This is called an inchworm. And I stand up, big stretch. Drop down, walk my hands out. It's hard to see, but I try to keep my legs nice and straight as I bring them in towards my hands. Stretch out, reach down, walk my hands out, walk my feet in, stretch out. Awesome. Feel nice and warm, ready to go. I'm going to try to loosen up your shoulders a little bit because we're going to be using our arms for our racket. So we're going to do these self-huggers where I reach across my body and I pat myself on the back. And if you notice, I alternate my arms from which is on top and which is on the bottom. Nice and gentle. I'm very, very relaxed while I do this. <clears throat> I'm probably doing 10 of them there. Next one I do, I call Michael Phelps. An arm swing and I come up. Arm swing and I come up. And that's just to really loosen up those shoulders. If you ever watch Michael Phelps swim, he does this on the blocks right before he starts. The next thing we're gonna do is loosen up with some arm circles. Let's go forward first six times. And then after six times going forward, we're gonna go six times backwards. Nice and loose, big chest. I'm making those arms go all the way around. Now I should be ready to go. Let's get into our lesson. I'm gonna go over and grab my paddle. The first thing I wanna talk about is our grip. The grip on our paddle, if I'm gonna bring myself nice and close to the camera, you're gonna see, notice how my paddle is facing top to bottom. I say north and south in the video, okay? If we're playing tennis, we want that north-south. Sometimes we'll use a frying pan grip when we do a little bit of self-volleying. But when we play a sport, tennis, racquetball, squash, we want, for the most part, our racket to be facing up and down, okay? 
that's gonna make that ball travel nice and straight, okay? Check out my fingers. They're gonna lace their way down the racket handle, not like a baseball grip where my fingers go straight across. Instead, they kind of spread their way down. I like to look at it like a set of stairs, my fingers are. Notice my thumb is on top for control. Let's see what we're gonna do first. We're gonna use that fry and pan grip for your first challenge. So rotate it down so it's almost like a tabletop here. Grab one of your balls, put it on top, okay? And the first thing we're gonna do is just see if we can balance our ball flat on our racket. Standing still. After I feel good about this standing still, I can take it on the move. I can challenge myself, can I keep that nice and balanced as I'm traveling? Notice where my racket is. It's down by my waist. It's not up high by my face. That's so much less comfortable. So why not drop it down to my waist where I can see it and my arm can be nice and relaxed? I'm keeping a close eye on it. Ooh, backwards walking. A little bit of sideways. Got to have a nice steady hand. I think I have a challenge of one minute for this drill. Hopefully you're doing great. Don't worry if your ball falls, falls off. You can pick it up, put it back on, and start up where you left off. Moving around, moving around. Okay, the next challenge is can we do small little volleys with our ball and our paddle? And we're just going to knock the ball up to us and try to hit it to ourselves. So I drop my ball on, and then I'm going to paddle it. Notice how it's not a really big movement. It's mostly my wrist, maybe a little bit of my elbow, but I'm not trying to keep, hit this thing really hard, okay? I wanna keep it nice and close. The same rule applies. Try to do it down by your waist, not up overhead. Nice paddles. We're trying to stay still on this one. We'll take it on the move in a little while, okay? Gotta hold that paddle nice and steady so it doesn't rock to side to side. As soon as it rocks side to side, it's gonna get away from you. So you gotta have a good grip on that paddle handle. Bouncing up and down, staying in still. Try this challenge out, maybe about 30 seconds or so. And then let's take it on the move. That's going to be a lot more challenging because we have to control where it goes as we move. Look, it's a very little touch I'm putting on that ball. Depending on what you're using, tennis racket, it might even bounce a little bit higher. So you have to get used to whatever implements you're using for this activity. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Very little. I'm just showing here how it's just in my wrist that I'm doing the movement. Keep your practicing going on. I got a lot of good practice in this lesson plan. My the last challenge there was could I make the ball just stop on my paddle from the volley? All right, we're gonna change gears here and we are gonna go into hitting our ball towards a wall. Now the most important part here is that we make sure we are not going to hit and actually hurt any wall that we use. I'm switching to a different kind of a ball. It's a little softer. I'm gonna be going into the purple pad, so I know I'm not gonna do any damage to that purple pad. What we're gonna do is try to keep our eye on the ball. This time we're moving our paddle head so that it's north and south. Okay, you wanna go north and south. I'm showing here, rotate it. So no more frying pan grip. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to toss the ball and then come through and hit it with my paddle head so that it travels forward. A little toss and hit. It's gonna hopefully come right back to you. Okay, we're not trying to crush this ball here. Just a nice gentle hit up 
My hips are facing the side, side on, ball comes back, and I pick it up. A little bit of a toss, line it up. We want to do about 10 or 12 of these. Toss and hit, and it comes back. Toss and hit. Right back. Notice I'm not in any kind of a rush. I'm really just working on my technique here. Maybe set a target on your wall that you'll try to go for. One of these ones, I hit it into the closet and I have to go and get another ball. I wonder when that's gonna happen. <clears throat> Okay, okay, for one of our last challenges here, what I would like to do, this is gonna be tough, but I believe if we tr more we practice it, the better off we are. We are gonna take our paddle and we're gonna try to switch grips so that we first do a frying pan volley up and then from there, we turn sideways on and we come across, so we lurk and come across and hit it towards our wall. So it's going to be a toss up and there's two hits on it. So watch, I toss the ball up, hit it up, and then I hit it to the side. I have to be switching my grip on this. Practice this skill of adjusting your grip. That's where I lost the ball. Let's try another up and switch my grip. Hit it up first, hit it forward next. That right there is going to be a tough challenge for you. Practice that one so that you work on getting better and better at adjusting your grip for whatever the circumstances that you're playing with that paddle. Sometimes you want to hit a ball higher in the air when you're trying to get the ball over your opponent. Okay? Getting comfortable with that grip is what we're looking to do today. I hope you have a great, fantastic Tuesday.